What's up guys, so just in case you guys are wondering why there was no upload yesterday, it was pretty much because of the like 11 to 12 hour stream I was doing. Um, honestly, you know, I had a great time doing a Halloween stream for everybody, glad people enjoyed it that stopped by, but it took a lot out of me. So uh, first things first, on Sunday night we pretty much did the Outlast stream, the first one. Um, you know, it was pretty... You know, it took at least an hour or two for me to adjust because I just, I never play horror games. Um, I don't even remember the last horror game I played either. It, it must have been so long ago before I actually played one. And I never really played many either. So, you know, it took me an hour to adjust to Outlast. Then we pretty much finished the main game. Uh, it was around, like, I guess, like midnight to one in the morning by the time we finished the first Outlast. Then I ended up going to China for uh, Naruto Online just to take a break from it. Um... And then after we did China for a bit, I decided to go and, you know, play Outlast the Whistleblower, which, honestly, you know, after playing Outlast uh, and then the Whistleblower, I honestly enjoyed the game. Uh, you know, it's definitely a, a thrill, something scary. Um, I never really played horror games at all, so, you know, it's kind of funny because they was was terrified of the idea at first, and then I was like, okay, you know, it's, it was honestly an, an, an amazing game. Uh, but in case it sound weird, it's because, you know, after I did the stream, I pretty much did just go straight to work. I finished streaming, started streaming at about 7 o'clock uh, Eastern Time on Sunday, and then I instantly went, uh, pretty much finished the streams at 6 in the morning <laughs> the next day. So I pretty much went straight to work, um, and then I had to go to college, and then I left college a little bit earlier, and then I pretty much came home and, you know, did Convoy. I did uh, something else, Matsuri Challenge, and then I kind of fell asleep, so I missed Nine Tails and I missed a lot of things, and, uh, you know, woke up in the middle of the night, tried to go back to sleep, it didn't work out, and woke up today, and it's just like, I feel like I got sick from doing those insanely long streams, um, so that's why I really didn't do any uploads on Monday, you know, three streams I think was good enough for that, uh, I just definitely had no time in the morning. And I was really not up to it, so, you know, doing a video today, and I have decided to start spending my uh, summoning shop points. I need to get myself the Dog of Hell pet, that is something I've pretty much always needed. Now, when I first did summons, I will never forget it, you know, I first hit level 50, pulled for Hashirama. The goal was to have a Hashirama, Jiraiya, Firemane, and Iruka team. Uh, with the Dog of Hell pet. That was the level 70 dream team. And, you know, I did 400 pet summons, didn't get the Dog of Hell. And, you know, I did 800 Tendo scrolls, didn't get Sage Uriah. So, the game was pretty much screwing with me to the point where, like, they just didn't want me to have my dream. Uh, so, I ended up going, uh, pretty much getting the Jiraiya from the birthday Naruto event. And then, you know, I just never bothered doing any more pet summons, so now I'm going for the Dog of Hell. So I am going to reset it four times a day, so hopefully I get the Dog of Hell tomorrow. Now, the only problem with actually getting a pet from summon shops is the thing that scares me the most. Because I have done all these scrolls, couldn't I get it? Um, I'd say out of these pets, Flood Dragon, Lightning Tiger King, and Dog of Hell are very important. A lot of teams, or at least the Dog of Hell and Lightning Tiger King, all the teams I make usually involve either these two pets and I don't have them. Uh... But, you know, the the thing that scares me the most is what if I just end up doing a summon and I get the Dog of Hell when I'm, like, either already have it and it becomes a dupe, or I have, like, almost all the fragments. I may be missing, like, 20 fragments and then I pull it. So, yeah, it's very, um, it's something I'm really not looking forward to, but I'm at the point where I just have no choice. I really need it for teams, uh, and it's just something I'm going to have to make. Even if I do get it as a dupe, whatever. So, I haven't been doing the the bishop boxes. I also haven't been really doing this jack-o'-lantern thing either. Like, it's a great way to get mood scrolls, so everyone should have been doing it. But, I've just honestly haven't been having the time to do it. And, you know, that's, that's the problem with this game. is that there's really nothing to do at level 80. And it sets back a lot of players that already reached the cap. Now, even I've even been talking with Masamune, and even he said, you know... Being stuck at level 80 with nothing to do, I got him in a kind of way where he hasn't even been playing that much either. So, you know, the strong approach did get moved back to Hanzo, which is very easy. I do have a, you know, I have my fire main guide 
pretty much the easiest way I ever thought of doing Hanzo, so I can actually switch back and do it. Uh, I will probably save Strong Approach for Sunday, see how that works out, and, you know, hopefully, hopefully everything goes good. Um, but I'm going to be having a busy week, and I'm just feeling terrible. So I just want to apologize in advance, because uh, I'm really feeling awful. Uh, but, you know, that's what happens when you stream for that long. And just pretty much crash after going through the entire day. Now, I forgot to do Survival Trial yesterday. And I need to also spend this stamina. So I do have more Tendo Team concepts. I will be messing around with that. At this point, though, I don't know when I'll be switching. Uh, it does involve different mains. So I'll be messing around with Tendo throughout the few, I guess, two weeks or something like that. Um, I do have another team I'm going to try, which, you know, there's a lot of ninjas that are good in this game. But they're overlooked. They're really overlooked by Sage Naruto. They're overlooked by Tendo. And, you know, there's a lot of good ninjas within all these treasures that get often overlooked. So what I'm going to try to do is make really good teams with ninjas that you just don't really see. Kind of like, un I guess, underrated ninjas in a way. That is going to be something I'm going to be waiting for. Uh, because, you know, I, I actually didn't notice it until yesterday. But when I was doing Matsuri Challenge with that ninja, they were actually really good. They had a lot of potential. Um, just put four random ninjas together that would buff them out. Pretty much did that without the main character, and it was working out flawlessly. So I was very happy with the results. That's pretty much why I was like, okay, so I'll just go ahead and, you know, try him out in a team. Uh, I did get the main 5-star yesterday, uh, so that's pretty much it. I got a slight battle power boost, honestly, because it was another 5%, but at least we got the main 5-star, so that increases the battle power. The problem with this current Nintendo team is that I lose a ton of battle power because... I had a 5-star Sailor Soccer and a 5-star Iruka that actually made it really high. And since I kind of, you know, ditched them, I guess, because I wanted to try out this team, it really uh, sets the battle power back. So um, I'm going to have to be messing around with that. Pretty much the idea is to have yourself 5-star ninjas fully maxed out, have them cultivated, have them awakened, and then this way you can kind of cheat the battle power rankings, just switch to that team, so you can pretty much get the highest possible battle power. And then, pretty much, you know, you can switch off of that to whatever team you want. And then your battle power is going to stay in the rankings, even though you could be at a way lower power. Because my power dropped by about 2,000 when I went to this Tendo team. Uh, I am going to be almost level 50 in China. And, you know, it's interesting. There's there's new feature at 48. There's also PKing at level 49 in China. And then 50 has Kage treasures. So what I really don't understand is I don't think there's Sage treasures in there. Or are they at a... I don't know. It's like Kage Treasures came after Sage Treasures. So for Sage Treasures to be a higher level than Kage doesn't seem possible. But I'm really just not understanding, you know, how uh, China has it. So level 50 is Kage Treasures. Um, and then I also unlock Summons. So that's something I need to pretty much work on. Probably going to have a China video by tomorrow. Uh, assuming I hit 50. So tomorrow is going to be a China video. Then Thursday, when we have the new events, I'll probably swap teams on the English side. And, you know, go off with the concept that I was planning about. Um, and that's pretty much going to be a lot of things. Now, I yesterday, since I fell asleep on Nine Tails, you know, I forgot about certain things that I didn't do. I completely forgot that I did not do Survival Trial. And, you know, it was stupid of me because I could have at least, you know, reset it. Uh, and then just completed it the next day and then had two survival trials to reset with. But it's really just, yeah, it's <laughs> it sets me back on the rankings. I actually went down to, like one spot in the survival trial rankings, which pretty much means you're screwed unless someone else stops doing survival trial. Uh, and, you know, I don't really need the runes or anything. It was just for pretty much maintaining on the leaderboards. But that's besides the point. And, uh, shit, shit, I pressed it. Oh, wait, wait. I sweeped and entered at the same time. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I kind of just stopped doing taking off two ninjas and then worrying about getting extra rewards because, honestly, it's random anyway. So, it's not really going to be like, okay, you can get that. Uh, I'm trying to remember what team I had yesterday for the Matsuri Challenge. I really can't remember. It was something like... Hold up. I'm trying to remember. Okay, screw it. Who cares? Um, okay, let me just let me just let me just put this team randomly, and we're pretty much gonna leave it at that. I really can't remember what the team was yesterday. 
I guess it was, I don't know. I really don't remember what it was. It was something like this, though. I might have not had Sage Naruto, but... Yeah, you know, you're gonna see something sometime soon. Um, the team is just dirty, the way you plan this out. If you didn't have to use the main character, and you were able to use a fort ninja, then Sage Jirai is just for the chakra gain. It would be ridiculous. Plus, you know, his ignite to the entire team also helps out. I was pretty much trying to uh, do Sailor Sakura with Jiraiya for Earth main. Because Jiraiya would fully ignite. And then you also have this immense shields going off from the uh, Earth main. And then the only problem though is that, like, Sailor Sakura, her standard attack hits really hard and it hits everybody. If only, you know, there was a way. I really don't want to go water main, but, you know, her passive. Poison tie for the water main is really, really nice. Um, so, you know, having a Jiraiya team with the poison tie and having Sakura, that pretty much means they can get poison from his mystery, or not poison, uh, ignited from his mystery. His mystery is all ninjutsu, so it won't even poison. And pretty much having Sailor Sakura poison every round. But, you know, besides that, I just really wouldn't want to mess with the, with, with the water main. Uh, Earth main is something I use the least, so I'm going to give it a few more tries. Um, I'm really not enjoying the, the Earth main, honestly. Like, it's just such long fights. You know, it's it's super boring, really. Like, Earth mains make 10 round fights in PvP. Um, the shields are stupidly broken. We're not at the point of the game where we have a lot of ninjas that can clear debuffs. That's going to all change in the Kage treasures. So that's pretty much the reason why Earth is one of the strongest right now. And then I just don't bother. Like, I have one lightning main team concept. That I probably will try, and this will be the first time I go lightning main. Um, this is also before the Kage treasures, so I have a team that someone told me about, and you know I find it interesting, so maybe I'll give it a shot. But I just don't like lightning main, and you know it's not like I say that it's a bad main, but at this point in the game, there are way too many main characters that I would choose way over the lightning main. You know, if you guys play lightning, I'm not here to shit on it, but I'm just trying to tell you that. There are, there are a lot of main characters I would choose over it. So it's just personal preference when it comes to that. Um, especially when it comes to the Kage Treasures though. Lightning gets pretty ridiculous. You know, you have Daroid that gives you a lightning barrier straight off as a passive. And you're gonna, obviously if you get Raikage, it's OG Mudbone time. And then if we ever get Samoy and maybe even, I don't know if Omoy is used a lot. Um, and then you can also use Mabui. So there's a lot of different ninjas you can use. When it comes to lightning, lightning becomes just ridiculously at that point of the game. So that's going to be something nice to look forward to. Uh, this team is looking less effective than yesterday, but oh well, certain things uh, change, I guess. Yeah, I guess this team was looking a lot more effective yesterday when I was doing Matsuri Challenge. It's really not that. <laughs> it's really not that look good right now. Um. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, I'm just I'm just feeling way out of it, but I'm still trying to bring you guys one video a day. Uh, I was supposed to do a Bleach video. Now, honestly, I am feeling terrible. You can probably tell that I sound different, I sound sick. Um, really got that bad case of Ebola or whatever this is. But I want to bring a Bleach video, so I'm going to see if I can get one out later. Um, otherwise, I'll probably have to wait until I get better. Um, we got a seal scroll from the regulars, and now we move on to the breakthrough. So, Jiraiya is barely alive. He is barely alive. Okay, so, what if I put a Sailor Sakura into the mix? Let's try this out. Sailor Sakura with these three. So you still have insane damage, ninjutsu boost, shields, and then you have a Sailor Sakura for the heal. So it should work out pretty nicely. Uh, honestly, I haven't been looking at the forums, so I'm not sure if anything new has been announced, any changes have been going on. I've been kind of way out of the loop recently. Uh, you know, this, the stream just took a lot out of me, honestly. I can't remember doing doing a 12-hour stream, especially doing three different games or three different things. was a while out of it. Um, but it was fun. You know, it was a, a Halloween-type thing. The next event would probably be Thanksgiving, but I really don't know what I would be doing for that. Uh, and then when it comes after Thanksgiving, we got Christmas. So I got no idea what would happen. 
<clears throat> but I'm just really looking forward to college ending. I have uh, still an exam Friday to worry about, and then it's pretty much, I don't know, when the next exams are going to be. But I, I've really just, man, this, the stream just got me sick. Like, <laughs> it was so bad when I was in work, too. Like, I was trying not to sleep. I was basically a zombie the entire day. Like, being up for, I was pretty much up for over, like, 36 hours by the time I actually passed out at my house. And then I slept through the own, like, I was staying up for Nine Tails. I was like, yeah, after Nine Tails, I'm going to probably go to sleep. And then I fell asleep right before it started. So I was like, damn, man. Like, the only thing I was waiting for, I fell asleep on. It's not really a big deal. Um, I still think there's going to be definitely a month before the level cap update increases. So I still have a lot of time. And I actually never noticed this hidden function in the mail, but it's something very interesting. Uh, I will show you guys after Survival Shaw before I end the video, hopefully. If, assuming I remember. Uh, and then probably, I hopefully will hit level 50 in China tomorrow. Uh, then pretty much start getting summons. I have to get level 53 though in order to actually start getting fragments for all the purple ones. And then I can have actual combo teams going on over there. It's honestly not fun. Like, it's it's not fun starting over when it comes to Naruto Online. It's It's a pain. But I'm just really looking forward to the future, you know, what if I get all those treasures and just see how my free draws can go. Um, another issue is just since I'm pretty much, I was going to save my uh, seal scrolls in China for the high-end treasures. I realized, you know, it's like, it's going to be a really long time. It's going to probably take me like a year or two just to get level 100. And that's assuming since I don't do like any of the main events because of time zone differences and stuff. Um, it's really a bad spot for me. So what I was actually thinking of, what if I do the seal screws I have? I only have 10, so even it wouldn't be a big deal. But I was thinking, what if I rolled 10 into the Kage's treasure and actually got something I could use? So it's really not a bad idea. You know, Kage treasure ninjas, they would be good at that low level in uh, China. But as time goes on, they're going to be very outdated because there are probably, like I think, four treasures alone after the Kage treasures. So it actually gets a, it gets a while from that. But, you know, we're slowly finishing up with the survival trial. I uh, really just need to rest at this point. Like, I need to just relax. <sighs> and, you know, hopefully I feel a lot better tomorrow, though, because I'm way out of it today. Um, I have to stay home, you know, trying to get well, and then tomorrow I have to go back to work and college, so I'm hoping it's... You know, it's basically a lot better, but uh, I don't care, man. Like, even if I'm sick, I have to have to get out of video. Um, it's just pretty much something I'm, I'm used to doing. I will never go one day without doing videos. Um, I would have, I wanted to do a video yesterday as well, but since I was like, you know, the streams are going to be all uploaded to YouTube, and there's three of them. And I would have kept you guys busy for a day, so I left that. I didn't expect anybody to honestly watch the Outlast thing, because my channel is... It used to be from Bleach, then it went to Naruto Online. So I was already like, okay, people are already going to watch it. But I was still surprised. A lot of people showed up to the Outlast stream. Uh, a lot of people showed up to the Blistleblower stream. And that was like, I think like a 2, 3 in the morning stream. So, that, that was, yeah, that was like very early in the morning for me. I was surprised a lot of people showed up still. Um, but I had fun. You know, maybe do something like Halloweenish every year. Just play some random horror games. Probably by next year there's going to be Outlast 2, so... Yeah, Outlast 2 is on a whole new level of messed up, though. You have... You pretty much have to hide in barrels, and it's like an open field type village farm area you're in. So, I'm really not going to be looking forward to that. It's going to be something super scary. Uh, but, did enjoy these two games. So, you know, even though it's scary, I'll probably appreciate the game by the time I, I finish it. So... I'll be looking forward to Outlast 2. Uh, it does come out 2017. They did not say when it comes out. So it might come out in spring or it might come out fall. Who really knows. But either way, I'll probably play it on the um, actual Halloween stream next year. Uh, another thing is, you know, I never really bothered about playing different games on my channel. For multiple reasons. My laptop, you know, I got a brand new this year. But laptops are just really not that made for gaming um i know there's like new laptops but they cost like ridiculous amounts of money all of them are like stupid three thousand dollar laptops that come with like 
GTX 1080s and 1060s and all this kind of stuff, but yeah, I am I'm not going to spend that much money on a laptop. I am done getting laptops. I have the last three computers I owned were all laptops. I'm done with that. I'm going to go for a desktop because desktops in the end are always way better for performances. Never ever get a laptop unless you're forced to. Like if you have to go to college, if you have to move around from house to house, if you have to basically use it for work, um, I would never recommend anybody to get a laptop, honestly. Unless you buy like a cheap laptop that's only for, you know, studying. But don't get a laptop expecting performance. Don't do it for video editing. Don't do it for, for anything like that, honestly. It is just the worst decision you could do. Um, I've always been telling myself, yeah, I'm not getting laptops. And I ended up buying another one this year. Um, my old laptop, which I was basically using for uh, as a second computer for my stream, it was pretty much dying on me. And, you know, it's very slow. It, was, it took, like, legit 20 minutes to boot up. It was terrible. Um, so, oh, I actually did forget. I can get Toby 4-star. So, I really don't have anybody I could go for 5-star. Uh, Maybe Kimaru. I don't know. Uh, there's really nobody on my priority at this point. But, let me go ahead, get myself that 4-star Toby. Like, Toby is really good at this point in the game. I haven't got him a maxed mood, but I don't use him outside of ninja exam purposes. So four star is going to help out for ninja exam if I get to it. Getting a five star main now, uh, I assume you can refine his fragments as well. Yeah, you can refine the main's fragments as well, and that would get me how many? So it's five points for every main. All right. Uh, you know, you pretty much get them every day, so that's why they're not going to cost that much. And uh, the last thing I want to basically do before I end the video... He's going to show you guys about the attachment. So I never noticed the male had this, all right? There's legit an attachment button right here. Um, Jesus, man. So you have the attachment button. It's going to show you these these messages, and it tells you how long until it expires. So this is going to be key for me. Um, you can pretty much just keep track of this. When you have to claim your Nine Tails mail before it expires, you go ahead and grab it here. And that's pretty much the way it's going to work. Uh, but that's all I have for today's video. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I feel better. And hopefully you guys have a great day.